What's up guys, it's Rasim from RossmoreTech.com. How you guys doing? I'm doing great. I have an exciting video for you guys. Now a lot of you guys know what I'm gonna talk about or you guys know what this video is gonna be about. So right in front of me here, you could probably get an idea of what I'm gonna do. There's an Xbox, we have a res pump combo, we have fluid, we have tubing. If you guessed I'm gonna water cool an Xbox One S, you are right. Yes guys, I'm actually gonna water cool an Xbox S. Now, some of you guys are probably wondering, why would you wanna water cool an Xbox S? It's got pretty good cooling. Years back, Xboxes always had problems with like the red ring of death. You guys probably know what the red ring of death is. It's when the CPU got hot, and it didn't work anymore and it would cause this red ring and you couldn't use your Xbox anymore. Ever since then, Xbox has been working on trying to cool their systems, more efficient cooling. But I'm gonna take that more efficient cooling to the next level. We're actually gonna water cool the Xbox. Now right in front of me is all the parts we need to water cool the Xbox. That's a Xbox One S by the way. I'm gonna have a hard time trying to drill a hole in it, but it's gonna have to get done. It's gonna look cool and hopefully you guys are gonna like it. I know I'm gonna love every second of it. So let's get started with this video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys all the parts and part two, we're gonna actually build it. It's gonna be the build and there might be a part three. I'm not sure yet. We're gonna see what happens in part two. If I do everything that I need to do in part two, then there won't be a part three. But if I don't have enough time to do everything that I need to do, there will be a part three. But yeah, in this video, I'm gonna go over all the parts and I will show you every part that will go in this build. So let's get started. All right, so now this is the Xbox One S. It's a new system that just came out and it's freaking beautiful. As you can see, it's a lot more compact than the original Xbox One, a lot less weight, and it's got a built-in power supply. Now, if you guys don't know, there isn't any more power brick. It's actually built into the Xbox, so there's only one little cable that you need to connect to power it up. So, this is the Xbox One S, white, and it looks really cool. I'm gonna hate having to drill into it because it's so freaking beautiful, but I'm gonna love building this, so hopefully you guys love it too. Now, this is the res pump combo we're gonna be using. This is from Thermaltake, and it's the Pacific PT40. It's right here out of the box. I used this in a couple of my builds, and I loved it. If you guys remember, the Ultimate Water-Cooled Raspberry Pi 3 and the Water-Cooled Latte Panda. This is the reservoir I used. I cleaned it out, and we're gonna use it for this project. And this res pump combo is not that expensive. I think I paid like $70. I'm gonna leave a link in the description if you guys are interested. Now, this is the radiator we're gonna use in this build. It's from EK. This is the LC Solution Cool Stream. SE, it's an ultra slim radiator, as you can see. I use this in a few of the builds, I mean, and we're gonna use this for this project. I highly recommend it, the link will be in the description. And I'm also gonna use a 120 millimeter fan like this. It's not gonna be this one. It's gonna be a green one, I think UV green. Should react to the UV light, but I will get one, it will go on top of that radiator. Now this is the water block that's gonna allow us to water cool the Xbox, and it's from XSPC. And it wasn't cheap, this was like $70. And this is the Raystorm, by the way. I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description. Now this is one of many compression fittings we're gonna use. This is from Barrow and it's black. It looks amazing. And this is half inch fitting. So we're gonna use a lot of these. I'll leave a link to this in the description. And this is the MCX Ram Copper Edition. These are gonna be for the little, little chips on the Xbox. So we have a little tubing. It's called 5 thirds tubing. It's a small tubing. I have lots of it. I'm gonna show you it at the end but a lot of the RAM and a lot of the little chips are gonna get water cooled using this copper here. Now I also have plenty of this here. These are double-sided adhesive thermal transfer pads. I'm gonna use this on this copper edition, the one I showed you earlier. And I'm also gonna be using a lot of these bulkhead fittings and they're from Alpha Cool and they're black. Now the way bulkhead fittings work, you drill a hole through a hard surface that you want tubing run through and uh, basically these two twist. One goes on one end, the other goes the other end and both sides have these G quarter inch threading. So you twist a fitting on both ends so uh, it looks neat and I'll also be using a lot of these dividers these are special dividers and I'll leave a link to this in the description it takes quarter inch and it turns it to small tubing so you could ch change big tubing into small tubing and we're gonna be using a lot of these so this will allow us to cool down those little chips like the RAM now this is the power supply that's actually gonna be powering all the water cool stuff like the pump res combo and this is the ATX power supply this is the Pico power supply it's the world's smallest power supply I did a, a video on this I use this in a lot of my projects link will be in the description and this will be inside the case and it will be powering everything. Now this is the switch that's gonna allow us to power up the Pico power supply. It doesn't come with the Pico power supply, but this is like a adapter 22 pin. The Pico power supply will connect to this. Anything connected to the Pico power supply, as long as we switch it on, it will power on. All right, so this is the smaller tubing we're gonna be using. This is like, I think the smallest tubing you could get. This is five thirds and it's gonna fit perfectly on our little water blocks, the MCX copper edition. And we're gonna be using this for like cooling the RAM and all that stuff. So this is the little tubing we're gonna be using. Now this is the other tubing we're gonna be using. This is the bigger one. This is the half inch tubing 
I'll leave a link to this tubing in the description. All right guys, so hopefully you liked this video. So this was part one of our water-cooled Xbox One S series. There will be a part two and maybe a part three. Part two, we're actually gonna build this. We're gonna be using our tools. We're gonna drill. We're gonna connect our water blocks. We're gonna take apart the Xbox. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be awesome. Hopefully you guys are interested in that. Now, if you guys like the project and you wanna see this project through, please give me a like so I know you guys are interested and you wanna see stuff like this. Now, if this series does well, I'm gonna do the same thing to the PlayStation 4, the new one that comes out. So if you guys wanna see that happen, like this video. Now, if you guys are excited about water cooling the Xbox One S, like this video. That's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossProtect.com and thank you guys for watching.